Well, hello, God bless you. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here, and I have a passage that I would like to read to you. Acts chapter number one, verse 13, and the A clause, and it reads thusly, and when they were come in, they went up into an upper room. Listen, this particular uh story today, this broadcast, what we're bringing to you is my story. I, I thought it was necessary to record, to uh, do a taping, a presentation to tell you how God brought me here. I have been, I have had the honor of a lifetime to serve as the pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Next to meeting Jesus Christ, marrying my lovely wife, Pamela, and the birth of my children and grandchildren, nothing has been a greater honor for me than serving this great church. And my friends, God has blessed me to be here for 35 years. Recently, I learned that when I was appointed, the prediction was that I wouldn't last but one year. And 35 years later, I sit here talking to you, flanked by some of the greatest men of God in my life and in my opinion, in the entire body of Christ. And these men played a pivotal role in my being here. God used them to do uh, some things that until God did it through them, it, it, it had never been done before in the history of greater North Carolina. To my right, is our head deacon, we, we call him the chairman, chairman of our deacon board, Deacon Joseph Morgan. Deacon Morgan, I'm so glad to have you. Thank God for you, sir. God bless you, Bishop. Amen. We call him Papa Morgan, and he's been a pop to me, and I love him. To my immediate left is the vice chairman of our deacon board, one of the greatest men of God that I've ever met. Uh, we call him Mr. Cool because he is one smooth pre- deacon who loves Jesus Christ, saved like the Bible said, but as divin- divinair as they come. Uh, deacon Daughtry Lewis Miller. God bless you, Deacon Miller. Bless you. I'm pleasure. so honored. Man, pleasure. the pleasure is mine. All right. <laughs> and to my far left. Oh, he is known for his ability to touch God in prayer. If there's ever been a prayer warrior in the body of Christ, this man is indeed that prayer warrior. What a tremendous man of God he is, the deacon Jimmy Springs. God bless you, Deacon Springs. Glad to have you today. Thank you, sir. Thank you. These men played a pivotal role, as I just mentioned, in my being here. As a matter of fact, they not only uh, played a major role in getting me here, they have played a continual role in my being here. And did I mention for 35 years? Uh, I think it's an amazing thing that the prediction was that I wouldn't last but one year. And 35 years later, here I am. So I wanted this story told. And brethren, I did not want to commit it to memory. All right. I didn't want it committed to just word of mouth and people getting tidbits of the story. Yes, sir. Uh, our friends, your, your, your family, your friends, they know a little bit of it. And yes. your family, your yes. friends know a little in yours and, and mine. But I wanted this story told and put out there where we will have it in perpetuity, mm-hmm. where uh, uh, we can give God the glory and give God the praise yes. for the things that the Lord has blessed us to do. Yes. The battles that we've been in, ranging from keeping Christ in Christmas yes. to the uh, defending marriage, God's style, Amen. standing on the scripture. Mm-hmm. Oh, there are just so many things that we've done over the 35 years fighting to keep the curriculum even in the public school systems clean. We have stood, we've stood against uh, the devil. We've stood against wickedness. Uh, Our latest tiff, (laughs) we've been in against uh, 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 Beyonce and and what she did to one of the most beautiful Christian songs ever written, so forth and so on. We've been in battle 
after battle yes. and God has kept us. Yes. But it all started mm. with God using these men yes. to, to play a role in bringing a man of God uh, to this church who was a truly, truly uh, unknown and as green as I could be, but God has blessed us over the years. Yes, yes, sir. Now, before we, before we go any further, I want to mention the passing of a great woman of God who yes. just played a major role in this ministry, and that is Mother Willa Dean Turner. Yes. Amen. Mother Turner, on July the 16th, went home 2022 to be with the Lord, and uh, what a woman of God she was, Amen. instrumental in everything that took place here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And the truth is, she's going to join her husband, Amen. who Amen. preceded her in death on May the 21st, oh, yeah. uh, 1987. I, I can only imagine what it was like mm. when, when she got to the pearly gates my and my there my he God. stood and, and I'm thinking, man, he probably oh. just took her on a walk and said, said, let's walk down Hallelujah my Boulevard my my and let's check out Beulah <laughs> and, 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 and come on, come on, honey, let me show you around heaven. Oh well, they're together now and, uh, and, 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 and we thank God for their contribution. We yes. thank God for them. For had it not been yes. for them, yes. that would be no mm. us. That's God right. used them. Yes. You don't see them, but we're sitting here on their shoulders. Oh, yes. Amen. 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 And uh, as long as I live and there is breath in my body, the late great James Henry Turner will always be memorialized, yes, sir. spoken of, mm -hmm. honored, and revered. Amen. And so will his lovely wife, yes. who was right beside him yes. when he came to this city uh, in 1980 to start the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Now, that's my little opening. Now I'm going to let you hear from these great men. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start, we're going to almost start, brethren, at a low place right. because it was in May of uh, 87 Amen. when the pastor, uh, the founder of the upper room, the founder yes. um, fell ill. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, he not only got ill, but he died. Yes. Yes. Deacon Springs, Deacon Miller, Deacon Morgan, they were there when these things took place. Yes. I was not. Mm -hmm. This man of God, Deacon Springs, prayed a prayer that calls our pastor to literally come back from the dead. Amen. Deacon, tell us what happened that day. Well, it was a beautiful day. And um, it was a day that Deacon Miller had gave a graduation uh, dinner for all the graduates. Mm -hmm. So after the dinner, after we eat, eaten, uh, we went to the basketball court mm -hmm. to play a little basketball. And um, I remember Elder Turner on the court speaking to Moses Day, told him, uh, Moses, stay in the middle. Don't move to the left, don't move to the right. Because Moses was a big man. Yeah. So stay, stay in the middle. <laughs> and not long after that, Elder, Elder Turner stopped and he just laid down mm -hmm. on the basketball court. Mm -hmm. And as he laid down, he began to talk to his son mm -hmm. and to others. He just began to talk. And... Um, and I looked at him, and all kinds of things rushing your mind. Yes, but, uh, but I had always been told, you know, a prayer warrior. Mm -hmm. um, he's like an emergency team. You're always ready, you know, because you don't never know when. Yes, sir. Okay, so we began to pray mm -hmm. for him. Um, and as we prayed, you know, I don't know how long we prayed. All I know is uh, I heard him talking when I, when I began to pray. Yes, sir. And... Um, I continued to pray. When I came out of prayer, he was still talking, mm -hmm. but his talk was different because he was tr he was saying how cool everything was. Oh he was saying that uh, he couldn't describe the Bible doesn't describe mm -hmm. what he saw. Mm -hmm. And as I was telling Deacon Morgan, I had no idea then that he had passed away and mm -hmm. came back. My God. You know, I found that out later. Mm -hmm. You know, I had no idea. You, you know, praying. I was praying, you know, and um, and like I said, it was only later because, you know, Paul said he was caught up. Mm -hmm. You know, he saw right, things right, yeah. and he came back, right, right, you know. Right, right, <laughs> so I didn't know. So I right. didn't know till, till later. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, uh, uh, they helped Elder Turner up and they walked him. He walked to the parking area, you know, where they had called the paramedics, 
and the uh, fire department. Mm -hmm. And um, Moses sat on the ground, Moses Day, big guy, and they sat Elder Trump on the ground behind him. Mm -hmm. So he was like, you know, Elder Trump was leaning against his back. Against his yes, yes. yes. And um, we waited, the paramedics came, and um, they took his pulse and everything. And um, the last thing I heard him say, they asked him a question, who's your doctor? Who's your doctor? He said, my doctor is Jesus. My, 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 my. That's what he said. That's the last thing I heard him say. Mm. And um, from then on, you know, they, they loaded him into the ambulance and they took him, you know, took him away. Praise the Lord. What, what a powerful, powerful testimony. Thank God that you were ready. Praise and thank Lord. God for your prayers. You. Now, after he goes to the hospital, right. uh, he didn't go home. That's right. No. All right. No. Now, uh, Deacon Miller, Deacon yes. Morgan, yes. you gentlemen went to see him. Yes. Yes. Now, at this time, I'm pastoring. The Lighthouse Church of God in Christ okay. down in Cander, North Carolina. Yeah. I'm living in Rockingham, mm -hmm. North Carolina. Mm -hmm. I'm at least 100 miles southwest of here. Yes. Um, so this is taking place and I know nothing of it. Right. Elder Turner now is in the hospital and we had, you know, we eventually got word that the pastor was in the hospital yes. and we all came to see him. Mm -hmm. But what took place? What did you what was his conversation like? Which one of you would like to start for? What was his conversation like? Well, Mother Turner came. We was in the waiting room, waiting, and Mother Turner was back there with her husband. Mm -hmm. And she came out and she said, Deacon, Deacon, you all need to go and talk to your pastor. Said, uh, he's talking about leaving here. He don't want to stay here no more. And so Deacon Miller and I went into the emergency room where he was at. Mm -hmm. And so when we got in there, Dick Miller started talking to him. Mm -hmm. I said to him, Ella Turner, I hear you talking about leaving here. Yes, sir. He said, that's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, now, do you remember what man you to said man. to Dick Morgan? <laughs> you said to Dick Morgan, I'm going to pray and ask the Lord to let me live to be 90. And said, Dick Morgan, I want you to speak at my funeral. Yep. He said, yes, yes, said, but y'all just don't understand. Mm. He said, when I laid down on the court, he said, I got a glimpse of glory. He said, I died. Oh, God. I got a glimpse of glory. Glory to God. He said, the Bible didn't tell me it was going to be that beautiful. Mm. And uh, so he talked about that message, the exalted Christ. Yes, sir. And uh, he said, yes. Said, he had preached that message. He yes. preached that All right. Monday night. Okay. And he said, uh, yeah, I said, but what I saw. I really don't want to come back here. And that was the Monday night before this took place yes. on a Saturday. Yeah, on a Saturday. Yes. The That's following right. Saturday. That's right. Okay, all right. He said, I really don't want to come back here. Matter of fact, I'm ready to go. Mm. And it broke out in a big laugh. And at that time, the nurse he did. Got, a room, got a room for him. Wow. And they came to take him up. Wow, wow. Now, this is the talk that the man of God was having because he caught a glimpse of glory. Hallelujah. Uh, later on, I came up. Remember, we're in Rockingham yes. and uh, and got a chance to see him. I, I learned approximately 10 or 15 years later that what I thought happened by chance was not by chance at all. My. Me and my my cousin, the late great. Superintendent Garcia Mormon, you know, Garcia's yes, in heaven. Yes, yes. And um, uh, uh, he, Garcia, Garcia, Superintendent Mormon, uh, Superintendent Turner, yes. Mother Turner. Yes. Uh, all those, they all up there together, man. My God. So when me and my cousin came up to see him, we were leaning on, on, the, on the hallway, in the hallway waiting for an opportunity. And uh, I don't think the hospitals had ever seen anything like the response to uh, our pastor being in the hospital because the the waiting rooms stayed jam packed. Mm. It was almost like a conference. Uh, Am I right? That's yeah. right. And so people was everywhere. And um, I'll never forget. My cousin said to me, "He says I'm I'm going to go to the men's room." And and and, uh, and normally, you know, being cousins, if you said I'm going, we we just go together and uh, and didn't come on back. So, but this time. I said, well, you go ahead on mm -hmm. and I'll just wait right here. Uh -huh. As he walked away, Mother Turner stepped out and said, Elder Turner, I've been waiting on you all. My, my. So she motioned for me to come in. I came in and there was my leader, 
lying there in the bed. And we haven't mentioned this, but uh, uh, James Henry Turner was a massive man. Yes, yes sir. Stood about 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, I would guess a good 230, 235 pounds. Yes. Just a strapping um, man. Uh, the late, great James Henry Turner, our pastor, was a man's man. Oh, yes, sir. And, and we loved him so far. Uh, and so in talking with him, I said to him, because I had already talked to you guys, and you had, you know, the word was out, the old turn was talking about leaving. Yes, oh, yes. Well, we weren't having that. You know, they, they, no, 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 you can't go. So we were talking to him, and I said, oh, Turner, uh, um, man, uh, you know, you, you're going to be all right, aren't you? And uh, I was standing to his right. He's lying in the bed. Mm-hmm. He looks, I was standing to his left. He's lying in the bed. He looks toward the right mm-hmm. and says, Oh, I'm going to be fine. Mm-hmm. But then he looked back at me mm-hmm. and said, now, listen, the people are going to come out to hear you. You're going to have to have a message. My, my, my. Get a message from the Lord. People are going to come. Mm-hmm. And I said to him again, I said, uh, I'm a Turner, but, but you, you're going to be fine. Again, he looked away mm-hmm. and said, yes, I'll be fine. But. Mm. They're going to come. All right. They're coming to hear you. Praise God. And then he said this, you have to beware of Satan, mm. for there is so many ways for the devil to trick you. My, my. And this is the conversation that he and I was having. Mm. And while we were talking and he was warning me about Satan, but encouraging me to have a message, the nurse came in and told me that I had to leave. There were things that they needed to do. And as I was walking out of that hospital room I can hear it brethren as though it was yesterday he said to me hey and I look back Mm -hmm. and with his massive hands and you know everybody remembers his hands he he lay hands on you (laughs) and just cover your whole head Uh, he was in massive hands he pointed at me Mm -hmm. and said hey I said yes sir and he said this and I'll never forget it he said you know that you are my son, my, don't my, you? My. And I looked at him and I said, yes, sir. That was our last conversation. My. And guys, if you remember shortly thereafter, mm-hmm. he had another episode. Yeah. He went into a coma. Am I right? That's right. Yes. And he never came out. That's right. As a matter of fact, the very next week while he was in the coma, yes. he had actually had a revival schedule That's right. to be preaching a revival mm-hmm. down in, was it Darlington, South Carolina? I think you are. And uh, I went and covered for him. The people said, and for the ministers who are watching, uh, for those of you who feel like you're just uh, wasting your time serving your pastor, my, my, my. Uh, uh, Superintendent Turner had preached many times at that church, and I was with him on many occasions, and they said, if he can't come, can we have the guy who was carrying his briefcase? Praise the Lord. Well, that guy was me. They mm-hmm. never heard my voice. They my, never heard me my. preach. Yeah. But they asked for me simply because I was his briefcase carrier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We went down. We preached that week. We came up and, uh, and we brought the offering that they gave us mm-hmm. to Mother Turner. And she said, no, 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 no. You take it. Mm-hmm. You, you, you did the work. And so the very next week, a revival Yes. What was about to start That's right. that Elder Turner came to me in April mm-hmm. of that of 87. Right. And he I was working part time at Belk's department store, mm-hmm. pastoring the upper room church of God in Christ. Mm-hmm. And he said to me, he drove down from Raleigh okay. and he said, I need you to preach at my church. Now, at this time, he's pastoring in Rockingham, the mm-hmm. Temple Church of God in Christ. He's pastoring in Southern Pines uh, at Wells Tabernacle, Church of God in Christ. And he's also pastoring the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ. The Upper Room in Raleigh was his baby. He came to Raleigh 16 years later uh, than he wanted to Mm -hmm. because his leader, the late Bishop Wyoming Wells, Mm -hmm. appointed him to the Southern Pines Church. Am I correct in that? All right. So he's pastoring these churches. Upper room has taken off. Mm -hmm. Uh, Great things were happening in Raleigh. And we missed him, you know, from living in Rockingham. But he drove down and told me 
what he wanted me to do. And I thought that he wanted me to preach at the Rockingham Church. Maybe he's talking about Southern Pines. <laughs> when he mentioned Raleigh, yes. I was blown away. Mm. I was blown away that he would allow me to come and preach revival at the upper room. And at that time, we were located on Lake Willow Road. And we were a part of uh, the church. I, 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 God blessed me to preach the first Sunday morning's uh, message on Sunday, August the 17th. The church was dedicated on August the uh, 18th, mm -hmm. uh, August the 16th, excuse me, in 1980. The first Sunday morning message to be preached at the upper room was August the 17th, 1980 by yours truly. Amen. And the way I got that appointment is he asked the ministers, he had us all to come around, oh and he says, which one of you all will come back and preach the first uh, sun Sunday morning sermon? And all of us understood, even though there was a big crowd there that Saturday, there would only be four people, mm. four or five people there that Sunday. Uh -huh. I didn't even have a message, but I raised my hand <laughs> and got that opportunity. Praise the Lord. And, <laughs> and you know what? Look at God. Look yeah. at God, yes. you know? Yes. So um, um, when he said he wanted me to preach, at the upper room, I was elated. Mm -hmm. Of course, we cleared our calendar, my calendar. I mean, my pastor <laughs> came to say, you're, wow. you know, check your calendar when your pastor said. <laughs> and um, and um, little did I know, I don't know if he knew or not, but I knew God, I, I know God knew yes. that that would be the very week mm -hmm. that he would pass away. Yes. Mother Turner had prophesied and told us that she would be at the service on Friday night because she was in the hospital keeping visual, vigil with her husband. Mm -hmm. That Wednesday night, I preached a message during the revival. What do you do when the brooks dries up? Oh, God. Speaking God. of when uh, the brook dried up with Elijah. Yes. <laughs> what did Mother Morgan, your, your lovely wife, tell you about that night? When you, you were preaching. And uh, she said she heard Ed Turner's voice come to you, come through you. Ed Turner used to always say, "I heard the Bible say." Yes, sir. And you, at that time, you said, "I heard the Bible say." Yes, sir. And she said, "She said, mm, Ed Turner must have passed because that was his voice coming through the pastor." Mm. And sure enough. That was on a Wednesday night. That was on a Wednesday night. Around 5 a.m. that Thursday morning. Yeah. We got word. Yes. Yeah. That he'd gone to heaven. Yes. That was a t that was a very intense time. Yes, yeah. it was. The question was, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. And when the, when you guys when we got together, yes, we said let's have the revival. Yeah. We're going yes. to we're going to finish right. the service. That's right. And uh, we finished the revival. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, um, Mother Turner was there yeah. that Friday night. But she was there in mourning. Yeah. Ella Turner was going to heaven. And uh, we were in a very different place. Mm -hmm. We were. Now, I want to talk to you guys, Deacon Morgan, Deacon Milton. Now, Deacon, Deacon Springs, be glad you wasn't in this conversation. <laughs> we had a terrible conversation being this man and this man. Now, these guys were doing what they were supposed to do. Yes, sir. But, but being a son, oh, I, I, listen, I didn't use profanity because I don't do that. Right. I'm born again. But uh, I was matter of fact. So which one of you guys want to tell this story? Well, I'll, I'll tell <laughs> Yes, sir. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, that Sunday yes, sir. at church, we got word that they had airlifted Ella Turner to Chapel Hill. Yes. yes, sir. So after the service, I said, Dick and Morgan, let's go and see Ella Turner. But I said to the church, I said, uh, if you pray anything, pray that God would change Ella Turner's mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he really don't want to come back here. Mm. So on the way to Chapel Hill, the Lord just gave Dick and Morgan and I to talk. Yes about what we would do. Number one, we talked about Ella Turner's death. We talked about how that we would go through the process of mm -hmm. the funeral. Mm -hmm. And we talked about that we would go down and see Bishop Davenport, which was the jurisdiction of bishop. Yes, sir. And we would ask for you. Mm -hmm. And But when you talked about you seeing Ella Turner the last time, mm -hmm. 
Digger Morgan and I was in Chapel Hill and we were walking up this long hall. <laughs> and as we walked up this hall, him and I were laughing and talking and, and Bishop Wooden came around the corner. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, that. that's when he was upset with us. <laughs> but we were laughing and talking yeah. and we greeted each other. Uh -huh. And we said to, to, uh, to uh, Pastor Wooden at the time, said, uh, we want to talk to you, want to meet with you. <laughs> but the meeting never happened. Right. We follow through what the Lord had gave us to discuss about how we would uh, call and get an appointment, go see Bishop Davenport and ask for you yes. to be pastor. Yes, sir. Now, you remember our conversation that day? They, they, what, what they did was, and they did their job. They said, we want to talk to you. We want to meet with you about possibly being the pastor. Yes. Yes. If God take Ella Turner home. Now, <laughs> I, to this day, I, I, the answer that I gave, I would probably give the same answer 100 times out of 100. I said, look, we have a pastor. <laughs> and he, he's laying there in that hospital wow, bed, wow, wow. and he's, he's doing a better job running this church and this district in a coma than any of us would do if uh, if we were uh, we were appointed pastor. And don't talk to me about that anymore. <laughs> right? That's right. You know, don't say anything else to me about that. And, they, and you know what they did? They didn't say anything else to me about it. But God had given them a plan. Yes. And unbeknownst to me, because we never talked about never. it again until years later. That's right. And I was pastor during that time. So God took Elder Turner home. Yes. yes. Took him from labor to reward. Mm -hmm. And wasn't, no one was happier to go to heaven than James Henry Turner. <laughs> I mean, he caught a glimpse. He yeah. changed yeah. him. Yeah. Um, and we had the home going service. And, um, and so between May and September, that was a very mm. difficult period for the church. Yes. Yeah. I want to take a back seat, brethren, and let you guys talk about what transpired during those times. All right. All of with you going to deacon, uh, going to the bishop, and yeah. just the things that was going on. Well, um, after we left the hospital and went on home, so Deacon Miller and I, we constantly talked about going to the bishop. And so I said, well, Deacon, why don't we see if we can get a meeting with the bishop and go down and talk to him about it. And so he said, that'd be a good idea. So I called the secretary, Sister Beverly Turner, and asked her to call the bishop, see if she could set up an appointment. And she did, and the, and the bishop gave us an appointment. And so at that point of time that we were supposed to go to see the bishop, we drove down to see the bishop, and when we got there, Somebody, he, uh, he was already meeting with someone. Mm -hmm. And so his daughter came out and she said, uh, are y'all here to see dad? We told her yes. And that bishop was Bishop Leo Bennett Davenport. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she said, well, y'all have a seat. So he won't be in that long. And so we did have a seat and she brought us some iced tea while we were waiting. And about 15 minutes later, like she said, he was gonna be in that long. About 15 minutes later, uh, the bishop came out and uh, we introduced ourselves and told him the reason why we were there. And then uh, the bishop said, well, said, uh, what about his assistant? He don't have an assistant? And so then I was talking to him. Then I let Dick Miller have words with him. I said, I said, Bishop, I said, he's kind of sick, but he won't be able to carry this church. <laughs> I wasn't there. I wasn't in the meeting. I didn't know it took place. <laughs> I didn't know it had taken place, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, but, but Ella Turner had charged Dicker Morgan and I That's right. some time ago. Yes, sir. And he said, listen, said, I want y'all to take care of the church and I want you to take care of my family. That's right. But when we talked to Bishop uh, Leroy, uh, Bishop Davenport, Bishop Davenport mm -hmm. when we talked to him uh, and told him who we wanted to be pastor yes. and uh, said, uh, Ella Wooden, Ella Patrick Wooden. <laughs> he said, uh, 
Uh, I got something in the district I want him to do. He's too young to pastor that church. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just a boy. That's what he said. He said, I got something in the district for him to do. Mm-hmm. And said, um, well, he asked her what, what was wrong with other, uh, the, the assistant pastor, yes, uh, Ella Bird. Yeah. He asked her what was wrong with him. And so we told him he had a lot of problems. He wasn't even able to, to attend the meetings. When he had the meetings, he couldn't go because he was sick. And so, uh, so we talked a few more minutes, and then the bishop said, "I tell you what, said let's let's take. I want to show you all my farm. <laughs> I want to show you my farm. Let's take a ride in my old truck." And uh, he he carried us around the way the truck was parked, and it was a straight. I know how to drive a straight shift, but he said he told us it was a straight shift. So Deacon Miller said, well, "I know how to drive a straight shift too." <laughs> so Deacon Miller got in the truck. We all got in the truck. And uh, he carried us on around the farm, and we were talking while we were on the truck. We were talking. And so I let uh, Dick and Miller uh, go ahead. And- we, we just had good fellowship, mm-hmm. and I'll, I'll say that I don't believe to this day if we had left and not fellowship with him. Yes. Right. Mr. Wooden would be back. Right. That's right. right. Room. right. But we right. fellowship with him, mm-hmm. and when we got back to his house, we got out the truck, we were walking towards the house, and he just said, uh, I'm going to grant your request. Yes, sir. That was it. That was it. That was it. And I'll tell you this after that, because he talked about fishing, and he asked us to come back and go fishing with him. He had his boat and everything, and we had planned to, but uh, he got sick after that. But I'll mm-hmm. say this much. He kept his word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, none of this, I, I, I never knew, I didn't know that this meeting uh, was taking place. They went on down. I'd gone uh, back to pastoring uh, the Lighthouse uh, Church of God in Christ. And we're trying to figure out, you know, how, how we're going to make it without Elder Turner. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, uh, these men of God went and they did something that was powerful. And uh, some, some other, during this time between... Uh, May and September, yes. uh, various guests would come in. And uh, one time uh, a, a preacher came and you guys uh, 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 revisited uh, yes. Bishop Davenport. Bishop Davenport. Yes, sir. And uh, what did, did he remind you that? Uh, he, Yo, Mother Turner went with us. Mother Turner was with time. you. Uh-huh. Yes. And we were, when Bishop came to the door, this time he came to the door. And so he invited us in. Uh, he wanted to know what we'd be doing back down there. <laughs> so uh, we told him why, why we came. And uh, then he said, uh, uh, well, I, he had already told us what he was going to tell us. Yes. yes so he, he told them, I'm, uh, I've, I've already addressed this. That's right. And, and, and that's that. And, and lo and behold, my friends, he, he, Bishop Davenport kept his word. He did. He did. He did. I'll never forget when I was appointed. Um, <laughs> the appointment happened like this. There is the ceremonial appointment that takes place out front, mm-hmm. but the actual appointment takes place, took place that day in, in the back. Mm-hmm. Uh, yours truly, um, the late, uh, 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 great, uh, William Cromer and, uh, the late great. E.C. Cannon, mm-hmm. myself and Bishop Davenport was in the office at Wells Tabernacle, mm-hmm. Church of God in Christ. And that is where in, in, in the office there, that is where in Elder Turner's office, mm-hmm. he handed out the appointments. When he handed uh, uh, Superintendent Cannon his, he said, God bless you. Congratulations. God bless you. When he handed uh, Elder Croma his, he said, God bless you. <laughs> Congratulations. God bless you. And he kept his word. Yeah. Yeah. And when he handed me mine, <laughs> he said, I feel sorry for you. My, 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 my. I feel sorry for you. I learned some 10 years later that he kept his word, he kept his word. but he said to the, the preachers, who were in the room at the time. Mm-hmm. I've got to appoint uh, this boy 
because I gave my word to these deacons yes, sir. <laughs> that I would give the boy a chance. Mm-hmm. And he said to the men who were in the room, the boy will most definitely fail in a year. Mm-hmm. And after the year is up, I will come back and appoint one of you. So this this was the circumstance, my friends, my, my. of my uh, become uh, being appointed to the upper room church of God in Christ. Um, and I thank God for the opportunity. And I'll be honest with you. I'm so glad that I didn't know that they had said those things because I probably wouldn't have lasted wow, six, wow, six wow, months. Wow, wow. But the, 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 one of the ironies, one of the mm. weird things that, that, that did take place, it, it shows the glory of God. Yes, sir. Um, in 1992, we built, and we didn't know at the time, we made history, we built the first Church of God in Christ church building Amen. that had ever been built mm. in the city of Raleigh. Yes, sir. Now, there had been other Church of God in Christ ministries. Yes. Other Kojic churches, Mm -hmm. but no one ever built a sanctuary. Mm. At 2901 Sandiford Road, we built that church and we made history when we built the church. Now, that was approximately, let's say I was appointed in 87. Mm -hmm. We built that church in 92. So, five years later, we were building a new church, and, and, and my friends, Looking back on it, because I found out uh, years later when I, I found out who the men were who were actually in the office who heard the predictions that I wouldn't last a year. All of those men was present five years later my, my, my. when we built 2901. And, uh, and so uh, and that may account for some of the perplexed expression that I saw because uh, we weren't supposed to that wasn't supposed to happen but when when God is for you Glory. when God is for you who can be against you and uh, I think uh, today of those men who were there then only two uh, remain uh, on this side today and and here we are 35 years later my God. Someone asked me one time, and uh, I, I want to get this in as we wrap this up. Someone asked me one time, says, Bishop Wooden, well, at the time, Superintendent Wooden, Dr. Wooden, whatever, Pastor mm-hmm. Wooden, how is it uh, that you preach the things that you mm-hmm. preach? And I gave an answer, and then I had to explain it, because the answer without explanation would sound arrogant. Mm-hmm. My answer was, I preach the things that I preach because I can. My, my, my. And, the, and the man looked at me. I said, now let me explain. The reason I can, is not only has the Lord anointed me, but God has mm. blessed me Glory. Right. Glory. with a board mm. Thank you. who have always stood with me. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Who has always prayed yes. for yes. me. Yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Who has always supported yes. me yes. and pushed me forward. My God. And and even even in the days when they pushed me for, forward, because when I was first appointed here, mm-hmm. I'm I'm going I'm moving from Little Rockingham, North Carolina. <laughs> To Raleigh, North Carolina. I mean, that's like going from here to New York and uh, to the city. And uh, I'll be honest with you. uh, I, I, uh, I didn't think I was ready. I knew preaching was the easy part. Mm -hmm. Pastoring Mm -hmm. is a horse of a different color altogether. And God blessed me to make some achievements to where I I gained the favor of the board as a leader. Yes. They knew that I could preach. But what I love about these men is that I had to show them, however, that I could lead. Oh, mm. And uh, and they helped me grow into that. Yeah. And here we are today. Um, a, a board, a preacher. Yes, uh, we we stand Lord. together. We've gone through some tough times yes, together. Yes, yes. We've never had 
a fight in the boardroom. Amen. We've Amen. never had a shouting match. That's right. We've never spoken to each other in disrespectful or demeaning ways. Amen. We have weathered storms. Yes. Yes. Weathered yes. storms. Hallelujah. And uh, and some of the great board members that we've had. See, this is just three because I wanted to tell this story. But Deacon Carl Clark, yes. a tremendous uh board member yeah. and uh, when we start talking about the board members to Deacon Clark we got Deacon Harris yes yes sir uh, give the list of our deacons uh, Deacon Deacon Harris Deacon uh, uh, Deacon Sierra Fork yes. newly appointed Deacon yes Yes, sir. Elder Littles, he's a tremendous man of God. Elder yeah, William Ron Cooper, yes. Elder Ron Peoples, uh, uh, Elder Kevin Brody, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, missionary Pamela Wooden, yes. Yes. and uh, and 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 we we we've had some tremendous um, board members who have moved away. Yes. Some have gone to heaven. One who's in heaven is uh, the late uh, Deacon. Uh, Morgan, Clarence Morgan, yeah, Morgan, your brother Clarence, yeah. who was a tremendous man of God indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Deacon Smith, yeah. Yeah. Leon Smith, yeah. he's up there with Jesus Praise now. Them. What a oh. tremendous board member yeah. he was. Yeah. Oh my, uh, uh, just so many. And uh, we want to thank God for mm. the, the lady that God used to, for us to build the entire upper room ministry around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Sister Beverly Turner. Yeah. Yeah. Beverly and her husband, late husband, uh, Odell, yeah, yes, and sir. their daughters, mm -hmm. the church was built around that family. Yeah. And look at what God oh, yeah. has done for yeah. us yeah. over these years. Yeah. So, my friends, we're, we're wrapping this up. That's still a lot but, to but say. I, yes, sir. One thing. Yes, sir. I just want to say. Yes, sir. The prayer was that God would establish a church of God in Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he, he's done that. He's done that. Yes, sir. And, and that prayer was your prayer. Yes, sir. That was your prayer before Elder Turner came. Yes. 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 You prayed that prayer for years. Yes. And look at God. Hallelujah. Look at God. Look at the mighty God. And I tell you, I haven't regretted not one thing that happened down through the years. Hallelujah. I'm just so glad that Bishop listened. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, to God, it's just a wise man. And, and move to Rob. Hey, hey <laughs> move to, Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This guy, this guy, uh, listen, he told me one day, he said, listen, listen, uh, let, me do my, let me do my best, Deacon Miller. <clears throat> uh, listen, uh, Pastor, it's time for you to, uh, uh, you might want to consider, uh, uh, leaving Rockingham and 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 moving to Raleigh and, and just pastoring up here, and see so at the time you know uh, I was pastor of the Lighthouse Church of God in yeah. Christ, the church that I had founded. Elder Turner actually went to carry went to Candor and and erected the tent. And uh, Garcia, uh, myself, uh, uh, Chris Turner, and Ithiel and Elder Turner. Put the tent up. My. It was 107 degrees in the shade that day. I'll, I'll never forget it. And we preached the tent revival and the people asked me to be the pastor. So uh, I was, that, was, that was our first pastorage. So I said to, to Deacon Miller, I said, uh, Deacon, I'll, n <laughs> I'll never leave uh, Canada. That's my baby. And, and don't talk to <laughs> Don't talk to me about uh, uh, moving to Raleigh anymore. <laughs> Miller shot back at me. Hey, Pastor, God is trying to move you to bigger and better things. I said, man, this guy. I, I told my wife, I said, honey, can you believe that? Now, her response wasn't that he's crazy. <laughs> and I'm, I'm watching her, you know. Yeah. And you know what? He was right. And when the time was right, yes, yes. God spoke to my heart and said, you're going to have to give that up, but you'll never have to worry about that church. Praise God. I'll take care of the church mm -hmm. and I'll take care of you. 
I walked away from a church. It was paid off. Glory. What money was in the bank, we left there. During those times, we had pre-anniversary services. That was money raised for my pastoral anniversary. I left that. God said, leave it all. Mm. Turn it over to the hands of a capable man of God, mm. Elder Superintendent Garcia Moman. He did a, he's done a tremendous job with it, and now he's in heaven, and the church is still going on. And here we are, Lake Willow Road, yes. Sandford Road, yes. now current location at Idlewood Village Drive. My, my, my. Three church, church buildings later, having built a school, mm. having shaken the world for Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're still going strong. Praise God. I'd like to say one, yes, sir. one other thing. Yes, sir. One thing I admire you about is that <clears throat> Deacon Miller, when Deacon Miller talked to you about moving here, yes, sir. and you said, I, no, I promised God that I would not build a house here until I build his house. That's right. That's right. And that's when we yes, build the church. Yes, Praise sir. Uh, thank you for mentioning that. I, that uh, yeah. I, I said to them, I will not buy nor build mm -hmm. anything in Raleigh for myself until I built God's house first. That's right. That's now, right. now, that was my covenant yes. that I made with the Lord. Yes. Now, what I didn't know, I didn't know it would take five years. <laughs> But, you know, the Bible says, you know, you, 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 can't, you can't make a vow and then break it. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's so for five years, let me give you a quick little rundown. On Monday nights, we would be here. Yeah. Drive from Rockingham to Raleigh, 100 miles. Do the Monday night service. Mm -hmm. If I stayed over on Monday night, I would drive from Raleigh to Kander, North Carolina. That was 90 miles. Mm -hmm. And do the Tuesday night service. I will leave Candor and drive 28 miles to uh, that Tuesday night to Rockingham, my home, and Wednesday would be my day off. Mm -hmm. Thursday, 100 miles back up to Raleigh yes, sir. to preach the Thursday night service. If we stayed over, then we would go from Raleigh back to Candor uh, for Friday night. Then drive home Saturday at 28 miles from Canada to uh, uh, Rockingham. Mm -hmm. And if I was at the uh, lighthouse on Sunday morning, I would be at the upper room on Sunday night. Mm -hmm. And if I was at the upper room on Sunday, uh, 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 on Sunday morning, I would be at, Can at the church in Canada on uh, Sunday night. And that was our schedule. For five years, mm. I am, by the grace of God, Hallelujah. a miracle talking oh, to yes, you. Sir. Thank you yes, sir. I can't tell you how many times. Thank you for your prayers. Yes, Praise God. Thank you for your prayer. That's I can't great. tell you how many times we woke up on the left-hand side of the road. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times we left Raleigh. I've left Raleigh going back to Rockingham, and I don't remember Sanford, Vass, oh, or... Aberdeen or Southern Pines. It's like a blank, but God Hallelujah. watched Hallelujah. over us, yes. kept us over the highways. And during those times, I'll never forget, uh, in Sanford on US 1, some Presbyterians had put up a sign that they were going to build their church. And uh, when I saw their sign, I said, God, it looks like everyone can build my, but us. My God. My. God, I can't build. Uh, during that time, banks weren't even calling us back. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, and it's amazing. Our, our ministry is debt free today. But the banks was, wasn't even calling us back. And, and the Lord spoke to me, my friends. And this may encourage some pastor who may be watching. God said to me, before these people finish their mm. church, Glory. you My will have God. built me a house. Hallelujah. And uh, I, I was almost like Abraham, to be honest, My, when the Lord told him that Sarah, you know, was going to give him a baby. Yes. Uh, he laughed. Yes. Uh, and, and she did too. Yes. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and then, the, then, then their faith grew. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, Lord, I believe, but, you know, I, I didn't share that. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell anybody. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know, years before they finished that church, My. we built the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, located at 2901 Sandiford Road. We made history, and we outgrew that church yes. from 92 
to, to 1998, we had to build again in, in our current location by the grace of the Almighty. So I want to say to any pastor who may be watching and you're going through lean time, Hallelujah. despise not the days of small things. Yes. Yes. Keep preaching, keep striving, keep serving. And I pray that you, mm. I pray that God gives you a Deacon Joe Marvin. Praise right. God. A Deacon Daughtry Miller, oh, a Deacon Jimmy Spring, Amen. a Deacon Carl Clark, yes. a Deacon Amen. Harris, Ernest yes. Harris, yes. oh my, uh, uh, an Elder Ronnie Peoples, yes. an Elder yes. Kevin Brody, yes. an Elder yes. Littles, yes. oh I pray Sierra that Falk. God gives you a Sierra Fall, yes. I pray that God gives you the kind of people yes. that God has given me a board who loves Jesus, yes. honest men, yes. godly men. Yes. They have never wimped out on any battle that this ministry has been involved in. My They've God. never called me on the carpet and said, hey, listen, you can't do this. You, you, you're getting us in trouble. Uh, 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 we're getting too much uh, negative press. Uh, cool it. Cool it, Bishop. No. Their position has always been, if God said it, that's right. That's right. We're with you. All right, honey. Men, mm. I, 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 I love you. I love you. I, too. I, I thank you. And, and Bishop, thank you. Bishop. I honor you. Yes, yes sir. One point. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, you took over the ministry at Lake Willow Road. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes when the leader passed, people leave. But I'll tell you, you came in and you preached, and. When we built the new building, I told you it was too small. You did. <laughs> they, added, they added three seats on each side. When we, when we came over to the, uh, you did. Santa Fe Road, yes. you did. we were full. When we I came mean, in. The <laughs> man had to get up for the women to sit down. That's right. Until the, we built in the new church. Until we built over here. Praise the Lord. God has God. been good yes, to Lord. us. God has yes. been good. Yes. And he's still good. And we, we're going to serve the Lord. And I want to say to the pastors out there who are watching, I want to say to the leaders, I want to say to deacons out there. Praise God. Hey, deacons, mimic these guys. My Stand by your preacher. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Don't, don't be his adversary. Amen. Amen. Now, Amen. I'll mention this. These guys are by no means yes men. No, sir. I've, I've already talked about how we had our conversation. These are brilliant men. But there are men who understand regimentation. Yes, sir. There are men who understand order. Yes. And, and there are men whose confidence I had to win. <laughs> I remember old Peter here. One day we were trying to get the loan. And I said to uh, Deacon uh, Miller, not you, uh, Bruce Miller. Yes, yes. Bruce Miller served as a deacon in the church. He's moved away. Tremendous guy. Yes, sir. And so... I said to Deacon Bruce Miller, I said, listen, you, you go down and, and, uh, and, 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 and talk with the banker. Uh -huh. so, we're having our meeting, right? <laughs> this one. Why don't you go? <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> so you go talk to him. Now, I didn't want to go because the biggest loan that I had negotiated at the time, Gary, was a whopping $15,000. Now that's the biggest loan I'd ever negotiated. And we're trying to get, at the time, some $400,000. Yes, yes, and I, I didn't know what to do. Deacon said, you go. Yeah. The banker's name was Stanley Green. Yes, sir. I went home and I had a green suit. <laughs> <laughs> I put on my green suit and I told my wife, I said, honey, Pray. <laughs> and we went and uh, went. I'll never forget. It, it rained cats and dogs mm -hmm. that day. And I struggled getting downtown Raleigh because, you know, we didn't have many one way streets where I grew up. Mm -hmm. So you got these one way streets, you know. And so I struggled uh, getting into the bank, getting parked and got my meeting with uh, uh, Stanley Green. Yes. And, and, and Green's no longer with us. No, but I, I want you to know this. We got the loan, yes, sir. and uh, when, when we got the loan, that was a that was a check in my corner. They said, yeah. "All right, all right, all right, you can." But see, what these guys did, what what you guys did is you you 
you didn't treat me like a boy. That's right. You you made me yeah. be a man. Yes, right. Now if you're gonna lead, you got to lead. Yes. It's more to more to leading than preaching. Mm -hmm. And I love you for it. Praise God. And I thank you for yes, it. Sir. And uh, may God continue to bless Glory, you. Hallelujah. I pray that this presentation has blessed you and have and has encouraged you. I want to thank you for your your wives, guys, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mother Morgan. Yeah. What a tremendous mother she is. Yes, she is. I thank God for uh, her. Yeah. And how she has stood by you yeah. down through the years. Yeah. I want to thank God for uh, S uh, Sister Darlene Springs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, who is uh, who is a pillar in this church, <laughs> oh, yeah. and she stood by her <laughs> husband and <laughs> stood by this church. And Deacon Miller, I tell you, your lovely wife, yeah. Sister Lily yes. Miller. Yes, oh my Lord, what a woman <laughs> of God <laughs> she was, and just a major major part yes. of everything that we. Now, she's in heaven now, yes, but I tell you what a woman of God that she was and our wives. I'm mentioning them because they were uh, played a major role yes. in everything that has transpired up until now. And if I keep talking, I'll think of a whole lot of other people to think like old brother Gary. Yes, our guy is Gary Leach. Yes, now, I'm yes. telling you that right now. And brother Leach. Thank God for you, man. Uh, he's the best he at what he does. He directs me. And, uh, and listen, when I ask Gary a question, when he gives me the answer, now he gives complete answers. Mm -hmm. And I remind him when he, when he answers me, I said, Gary, I did ask. <laughs> and so, so when he answered, uh, and his answers always make sense, so I go along with him. Wow. So, Gary, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank thank you. you. Deacons, yes, sir. thank you so thank much. You, Bishop. May we continue to strive yes, sir. and yes, sir. do the work of the Lord. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Bless you. Yes, sir. To our friends, Father, we just thank you for mm. this time, yes, Lord. for this place, Hallelujah. for this opportunity. Yes. And I pray that this testimony will serve as a blessing to those who will see this. Yes. Will inspire some pastors. Oh, wow. will inspire some deacons yes. and inspire people yes. to stand on the word of God yes. Glory. and to work together yes. in Jesus, Jesus name. name and let everybody God, say God, God first. first God bless Amen. you Amen. Amen. thanks God <laughs> that was good wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. I tell you